let's talk about the exhaust valves. If you have a situation, like I do, where the sealing surface on the valves is pitted and corroded like that, you probably won't be able to get away with uh, lapping them and getting them to seal again because the corrosion is very deep. So you're gonna have to reface these valves. And in some ways, you're much better off buying a new set of valves, but uh, you can actually take something like this to a machine shop and they might be able to uh, cut the face of the valve and reface it. Um, as you can tell, I did the best I could and I was able to clean up some of the valves already but I still got a few of them to go uh, a few years ago I bought some tools which I want to show you guys these are the tools that I'm talking about so this specific set here is to cut the new face into the valve so there's two cutters uh, this is the 45 degree angle and this is the 30 the 45 is your ceiling surface and the 30 is the top cut uh, the way that they work is you grab your cutter and then you choose the correct uh, stem size in this case it's this one and once you have that thing together you just put it on your valve if I can get it okay so I usually use a bit of hose on the stem of the valve just to protect the stem uh, they're usually made out of uh, very hard steel so you don't need to worry too much about them but still I rather not put the pressure directly on the valve it doesn't need to be very tight just tight enough so that it doesn't move and once you got it like that I'll put a little bit of uh, lubrication some WD-40 or cutting oil and you just start spinning it by hand And then you continue until you have your new surface. A few moments later. Okay, so this one's almost completely refaced. There's still a little bit to go, but it's almost there. I've got two more valves to go, and then I can finally start working on the seats. I just added some Dicom or machinist die to all of the exhaust seats because I'm going to have to be cutting a new seat for all of these valves uh, on the exhaust side. The reason is when I removed the exhaust valves they were pitted so heavily that I wasn't going to be able to just lap them and leave them as they were. Uh, on the intake side they didn't look as bad and I think that they will clean up fine so I'm just going to lap those and leave them alone. This is what I'm going to be using to cut new seats into the head. So something like this only makes sense for someone who builds engines all the time. Someone who works with a lot of heads and doesn't want to be going back and forth to the machine shop. Um, however, if you're doing this only once and you happen to need a valve job, then just consider taking your head to the machine shop instead because one of these cutters will most likely cost more than having your full head surfaced at the machine shop and with their equipment they'll end up doing a better job than you possibly can at home keeping that in mind let me show you what these are for so you got several pilots to choose from and these go according to the size of your valve stem so for the Jeep is 0.312 you also need to choose the handle to turn the cutter and the little extension here you also need to choose one of the cutters. I'm going to be using the 4530 cutter, so I'm going to keep it simple. Um, besides this, there's this little brush to clean the cutter as you're doing the work. And I think we're ready to go. Let me set up. Okay, so to set it up, you simply install the pilot onto the guide until it's locked. There's this little handle here to make sure you push it in far enough. And then once it's tight there, uh, you can go ahead and you need to make sure that you're using the 45 degree side 
so where the arrow is pointing and that's gonna go right there and then you're gonna grab your little handle and the extension and you're basically ready to start working before I start turning this handle I want to show you a seat that I already cut as you can see that one is already done the reason I added the dicom is so that I could see as I was cutting to make sure that it was completely flat I'm gonna add a little bit of WD-40 all around okay so you don't need to apply a lot of pressure you're just pretty much gonna let the cutter do the job so every now and then you want to stop and clean your cutter just remove all of the metal that is stuck in the blades and just put it back in and you're gonna keep going until you have one consistent cut all around the valve Just a couple more turns and I think this seat is going to be ready. I've been at it for a few minutes already and I hope you can see that. Let me clean it up. Okay, you can tell that there's a pretty consistent circle there now I'm just gonna flip this to the 30 degree side and I'm gonna cut a second angle on the top you don't have to cut this one very deep at all And with that, I think our valve seat is going to be ready. There we go. Hey, Bruno. Okay, so all of the exhaust seats have been cut now and I think I'm ready to come back in here with the valves and just let them all in place to ensure that everything is sealing perfectly. Afterwards, I'm going to clean the head one last time and reassemble it so that I can put it back on the 4 liter. Okay, so it's time to lap the valves and here's another useful tip. I know a lot of you guys have one of these laying around I do too but to be honest I absolutely hate this tool uh, I don't know if it's because I always buy cheap ones but I'm never able to get them to work correctly so what I use instead is uh, of course you use the same uh, valve grinding compound here and on the valve itself you add a little bit of oil and then you stick it in and from the other end what I do is I'll use a length of hose and I'll stick it to the stem of the valve like this okay and then you go ahead and get yourself a little clamp hopefully one that's easily removed and you tighten it up okay and then that way you can pull on this and then you do basically the same thing okay but you're not worried about the thing unsticking or this getting dirty with compound so that's just the way I do it and I hope some of you guys can find this 
useful if you know what I'm talking about. Let's get to it guys. Okay, so this is what the setup looks like. You're gonna come and grab a piece of hose, hold the valve from the other side, and just push it in the distance, and then with your clamp, this is basically just to make sure that it doesn't slide out as you're pulling on it. Okay, and once you have it set up like that, you're basically just gonna do the same motion. Look at the way that spins. Isn't it beautiful? Now, try doing that with this BS. I guarantee you, you won't. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Okay, so I'm done with the first set of valves and what you're going to want to see after you're done lapping them is a, a solid gray colored matte line going all the way across the face of the valve, sort of like that. Hopefully it's close to the middle and very consistent in thickness as well on both the intake and the exhaust, this is the intake here. Okay, and you're gonna see the exact same pattern on your seats. So going all the way the face of the seat. That's how you know that your valves are going to seal and that's how you can sleep comfortably at night. Now I got five more to go.